Hey Libra, it's your girl Tara Carpe, here to do a love reading for you for the month of May. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And feel free to email me if you're interested in a personal reading. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok, sometimes the content can be different. So I'm jumping in. It's so funny because Page of Coins just came out. I am using Tarot of the Divine. Page of Coins. I just feel Libra like, before I did this reading, I had these love songs come in my head. Like, um, Tiana Taylor, Chris Brown, Do Not Disturb. And then New Edition, Can You Stand the Rain? So I'm getting this vibe, and this is not usually what I do, but I'm just getting a vibe that like you want the passion and you want the stability like you're ready to settle down you are ready to settle down so we got the death card and then we have the tower <sighs> yes so for the overall energy, um, you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio has been coming out heavy. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. But I'm also getting, this is just death to the old ways. Like you're kind of going through some type of awakening. So in the past, if you were someone who really liked casual relationships and going to the club uh, talking to multiple people, you're over that. And more importantly, um, this is just all what I'm getting intuitively, but more importantly, you're telling people that. So when you meet someone, maybe you in the past would keep it cute, keep it light. You know, Libras love to have fun um, and be social. So it's kind of like, whatever happens, happens. I'm not forcing it. I'm not pressing it. I'm not doing Now you're meeting people and you're like, I'm looking for my wife. I'm looking for my husband. I need the person who can satisfy me sexually. And I need the person who can make it through all the storms of life. And when I say storms of life, I get the five of wands. So that just came out. I didn't even ask anything. And the ace of cups tried to come out too. So, all right. Is there a person in mind? Who are we talking to? How does this person feel? Let me get some cards about who's coming towards you for love. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Ten of Wands. Another card of Endings. Person coming towards you could definitely be a fire sign. You could have, if you know this person, <clears throat> let me clarify, you do know this person. And in the past, there was some conflict. This five of wands, I don't know if it was other people. Let's clarify that. I don't know if it's other people, but there was definitely conflict. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> Earth sign. Clarify the five of wands for this conflict. A hermit. Let's get another card for the conflict Libra between yourself and this fire sign. Four of swords. Hmm. Definitely could be other people. This um, That hermit could be another person that caused conflict. Um, and then we also got the Ace of Swords. So there was definitely a lack of clarity here, Libra, between you and this person. Um, lack of honesty definitely could have been some someone holding back information. I'm not getting right off lie, but hold back information that they should have communicated. Um, and again, with this hermit, it could be a person just going internally, 
maybe doing a bit of soul searching and not communicating, or it could also be a, just another person that blocked you. Got the wow, um, we got the Ten of Swords, a lot of, and the Four of Wands. So a lot of finalizing energy and that came on top of that queen of wands this is getting confusing there seems to be a lot of people here so libra if you are currently with a, a fire sign you might be ending things with that fire sign for another person, which could be the hermit, could be a Virgo. Um, but if you are communicating with a fire sign, it's like death to the old ways. So if you guys had a past, the old ways, the old behaviors would end which could possibly lead to commitment. So these are, those are the two stories. I usually don't get two stories. Um, so those are the two different paths of this reading and that's what makes it general. My readings are usually a lot more specific. We have two paths here so far. Maybe you had to choose between two people and maybe you chose the fire sign, but that's ending. Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Wands for what's going on with this person coming towards Libra. Clarify the Ten of Wands. We got the Nine of Wands. And we got the Five of Swords in reverse. So yeah, I'm really getting deaf to the old ways Death to the old ways, and if that means someone that you're co you're currently connected to that could be a bit toxic or manipulative, games, playing, those type of things, mental games, you're trying to cut that out because you want real love. That's the vibe. When I was listening to music before I started recording, I felt like, new edition, can you stand the rain? Like that? The fact that I'm the age that I am and I'm like Google searching that on not Google searching it but social searching it on title I'm like this is deep somebody's really in their feels right now they really want love and I really feel like that's you hmm. what's the mutual energy between you and this person Libra Got the lovers. This is a little complex. The Empress. Temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And this is the mutual energy. I didn't even jump to how you felt. I guess I just was like, well, all of this love stuff. Clearly, um, but <sighs> okay. We also got the emperor, emperor and empress came out in the mutual energy, the lovers, and temperance. That's very strong here, very, very strong. Whoever this person is, you guys want each other. Not only do you want each other, oh God, this is so my back just gotta chill. Y'all wanna marry each other. You wanna be with this person for real, for real. You pulling out new edition R&B, black and white videos and oversized suits, this is real. Like, you want this person, you're tired of waiting. Or maybe the waiting has just came to an end. Like, maybe it's time. Yep, bottom of the deck, F boy, F girl in reverse. So if both of y'all were kind of on that being casual, being playful, getting your ego stroked by different people type of thing, that's a wrap. You guys want each other. 
How does this person see Libra? The fool, a literal fool, or maybe they're just a fool for you. How does this person see Libra? <laughs> Three of cups, wine and dine, baby. Trying to take you out and dance a little pachata, 10 of coins. I have no clue why I said that. <laughs> no clue. No clue why I said that shit. In the hair font. These are the cards with how this person sees you, Libra. They want to wipe you up. Yes, can you be my wifey? Yes. Yes, I'm feeling this. I am feeling this. Let's see how you feel, because I didn't ask, and that's kind of presumptuous, so I apologize. Libra, how do you feel towards this person? Clearly, we did the mutual energy, but it's only right. <clears throat> Five of Cups. Libra, how do you feel towards this person? King of Swords. Three of coins. Six of swords. This is how you feel towards this person. Let's clarify this five of cups for how Libra feels. Clarify five of cups for how Libra feels for this person. <laughs> I knew it. You playing around. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. Page of Wands. And we got the King of Swords again for the clarifier. So uh, you have a lot of love for this person. This is your energy. So there's a lot of regret from what happened in the past. You think about bringing your love to this person. You want to send them love messages. You want to get over the drama from the past. But there is guardedness because you don't know what this person is going to do. Like... You're juggling these I, these different feelings. You have a feeling of regret, but then a feeling of wanting things to get better, and then a feeling of wanting to bring your love. So you're juggling your, your emotions. So your emotions are kind of all over the place with this person, but we know love is definitely here. What's this person? Man, didn't even get a chance to go. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Is this person's future action towards Libra? This person's future action towards Libra. Person's future action towards Libra. The sun. Ace of Swords. more for good measure in the world yes bitch yes yes so high priestess this person is plotting planning strategizing i don't know why this means plotting planning strategizing for me also using their intuition but i just feel like high priestess is like it's almost like this person knows what the outcome is gonna be or you know but they're not telling you like they're holding back their emotions they could be holding back like excitement you know what i clarified the high priestess with the world so we had the world here for the outcome and then high priestess is clarified by the world this if this is something from the past is definitely not ending it's actually transforming with this sun card it's like this person wants a positive spin on this outcome could be dealing with a leo um pay, i'm paying special attention to this ring here i don't know why i usually don't look at that but that looks like a ring like a wedding ring to me but some truth has to come out and i think 
in the past this person could have been very guarded could have just lied like i said or omitted details that's what i'll say lying by omission is a different type of just f boy f girl lying but they want to bring you the truth they want to bring you their love they want to see what a life with you would be like like this is really what they want in their life they want to look like this picture right here kissing you doing some weird drink dance or something on a beach somewhere that's that's great all right what's the advice for libra damn somebody loves you bro sis somebody really loves you what's their advice like for real for real good king of wands like i can feel the love i can feel the sexual desire i can feel how this person wants to they just want to engulf themselves in you and that's I want that. You know, I'm a Libra V, just leave Libra crust. You know, I claim Virgo game. Um, Virgo game very hard, but listen, maybe I need to tiptoe on the other side a little bit. One more card for advice. Nine of Wands. Ace of Wands. So yeah, your advice is definitely be confident when this person comes to you or just in general, Libra. Um, you need to just enjoy your life how it currently is. You need to just give off that positive energy. Um, focus on the good times when you think about this person, especially when it comes to manifesting. Like if you guys are not talking very much, you guys could still be energetically communicating. You really want to think about the good times so this can... I guess manifest in the way that you want this nine of wands for me is to as a as an advice could be to guard yourself but it also could be these thoughts that you come up with like things in your head that's going on the worst possible outcome the worst behavior type of thing you won't have to get out of that to be in a successful relationship with anybody and then we have the ace of wands so more passion and start fresh with this person this person pours their heart out to you if you decide you want to be with them you got a clean slate i'm getting that a lot i just did gemini i believe and i said the same thing could be dealing with gemini i guess and they had Libra kind of pop up too. Could be dealing with a Gemini. About to pull some manifest soulmate oracle cards for you. What do we have for Libra? This is really good. Yes, we need a spring, summer, love, hot boy, hot girl, hot couple, summer. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Release your worries and receive universal abundance. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Mm -hmm. This is backing up the messages. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. So yeah, this is a, these soulmate oracle cards are about releasing and having faith. We did have the hair front pop out. Releasing and having faith. If you deep down in your heart know that this person loves you or you feel love for this person and you wanna be with them, you just gotta believe that you have to pick a path. You can't be partially um, in negativity and partially in positivity. That's probably what could be causing stagnancy. 
um, if there is any. So you have to pick a path. Do you want this person or not? And if you want this person, then you need to commit to that positivity. Because that could have been, this person could have been lying, doing stuff in the past, but if you were showing doubt or instability or inconsistency about what you wanted, that can scare another person when they want to commit to you. They want to commit their lifestyle to you. And you don't know, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, focus on you. Stay confident. And we know Libra sometimes like to buy a lot of stuff. This is a time for like healing. You need to be healing and purging while you're waiting for this person to come so you can clean slate it and really have a real chance if this is what you want. All right, Libra, this was a great reading. Very clear. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your May. Again, check me out on Instagram, TikTok. Email me if you want a um, personal reading or you just want to say, hey, if you want to give feedback about the readings, I would love that. Um, I appreciate you guys and take care.